This video shows the Booster BIM Model Compare tool. With this tool, I'm able to select a Revit file as the baseline, and then a modified version of that same file. Revit compares the two files, looking for changes in the geometry of point-based and line-based elements, and reports when those elements have moved to a new location, been added or deleted. In this case, we can see that a wall and a structural column was deleted, four new elements were created, two walls and two tables, as well as several elements that were moved from one location to the other. To see what was changed, we can select an item in the grid and then either zoom into the new or old location. Here we can see the new location of the chair. When we select an item in the grid, a temporary marker element is created showing us where the element previously existed. And when we select an element was, that was deleted and we zoom into its old location, we can also see that marker element in that old location as well. When walls have moved, as in this case here, or walls have been created or deleted, we can also see where those walls used to exist. Here, the deleted wall was in between the mechanical and bathrooms and we can see the green line here showing us that wall's previous location. For a new wall, we can also zoom in on that new location and see here that the wall highlighted in blue, uh, selected in the Revit interface, was a new wall that was created, as was this other wall beneath it running horizontally. We can also set a parameter value for all new and modified elements still in the model. In this case, I type in the name of the parameter and the new value, press the set button, and now if we close this interface and go to an existing schedule in the model, we can see that the value has been entered for those newly created and modified objects.